Mini Bob Mustachio on Channel 13 for your daily report. Now, there has been a war over many things like a new brand of mac and cheese Cheetos has taken over. And now there is a barren landscape over here. And to solve that problem, a scientist named Maximus Schaeferis has built wormholes to take us to parallel universes so we can survive and not have to be in a radiation-filled landscape. Now here I will show you a documentary of how he created the wormholes and his experiences in the parallel universes. Disease and radiation was spreading across Earth, so I had to do something. I went looking for a cure, a way in the cosmos. I was very, I was far away from the solar system, and then all of a sudden, m my ship started to shake, malfunction. Time slowed down and gravity weighed down on me. It was strange, but then I saw a ring of matter swirling around something. It was a black hole. Matter was swirling and swirling around the black hole. The ship was going out of control. I saw something zoom by, but I couldn't tell what it was. And then, a huge light started bursting out, and I didn't know what happened. And then, all of a sudden, sudden, in the blink of an eye, everything went black. But, no, that is not the end. That is not the end. I saw small glimpses between light and dark. But then, I saw something new. It didn't look like outer space at all. I wandered around in the spaceship wondering what to do. I just wish I had a wormhole to get out of here. I've been studying wormholes for many years. Then, something tried to come near me, but I was immediately pushed away by some weird force. I wondered what it was, and then I saw a flashing, a bright flashing. I had no idea what it was, and weird pulses were coming from it. It was this almost type of exotic matter. I tried to go towards it, but it was pushed away. Of course, what I expected. This could be used to open wormholes, according to theory, but would push everything away. Then there was a huge explosion. The ship, the ship malfunctioned, and everything, again, went black. I was floating around in space helplessly, with my ship broken, but then there was a sudden jolt, and then I went almost backwards in time. My ship started to get fixed for some weird reason, and it was in brand new condition. Then I got immediately away from the black hole and started traveling back to Earth. I couldn't control it. I went back to Earth, but then there was a bright flash. I couldn't stop it. There was a very weird flash. My ship was uncontrollably shaking, and everything went to dark for a moment. But that wasn't for long. I suddenly gained control of the ship again, but something weird was happening. I was falling, falling back and down onto Earth at rapid speeds. I sat in my office thinking about what happened, about all the wormholes and things like that, and the flashing lights and the objects that pushed me away. The object probably had negative mass, which could be used to open a wormhole. And the thing where time was going backwards could have been a parallel universe. But I probably just bumped my head on the spaceship or something and I was dreaming. I then thought I could start a wormhole project. I sent a spaceship out 
up into outer space to create a very dense a very dense object so we could create somewhat of a black hole to create a wormhole you know how that exotic matter pushed me away because of the negative mass well i want to use that to stable stabilize a wormhole but i don't know how i could capture it since everything i have is made out of mass and it would push it away so i decided to send one of my crewmates out into space to mess with quantum fluctuations. Quantum fluctuations are always creating particles and antiparticles, and if we manipulate that, that could create a certain effect that is similar to the exotic matter. We could use that to stabilize a wormhole. Many of my crewmates warned me as I tried to approach the wormhole. He was very worried that I could not survive because there were myths of before when people tried to create, when people tried to create a wormhole, sometimes they were too small and they could get separated because of the pressure. I decided not to listen to him and went, went ahead and jumped right on through. I saw many weird things along my journey. For example, when I was exploring the parallel universes, I saw a different version of myself, but it seems like it decided to have a different haircut than the one I have now. I also saw other cases like this, where instead of waffles, it ate pancakes for breakfast on Sunday, or where when I was a kid, instead of adopting a parrot, it decided to adopt a mouse. I came to the conclusion for that every decision you make, a parallel universe is created. So, let's say you are going to the grocery store, and you decide to buy some orange juice instead of apple juice. Well, that creates a parallel universe, and there are different universes where you probably got orange juice, or grapefruit juice, or many different things. <laughs> Over my research in the multiple parallel universes, I've come across many things and made many theories. Some things are, like I told you earlier, that each decision can create a parallel decision in a parallel universe. Another thing is that in an anti-universe or antimatter, the time is backwards. And one of the things is that if one gram of antimatter, one gram of regular matter, like us, collide, the power would be greater than the fat man bomb. There could also be many problems solved if infinite universes exist, which I have proved using my wormholes. Such as when quantum particles, when a quantum particle changes its state, nothing in our laws of physics are to direct it to change a state in any particular way in any particular way. In a multiverse, every possibility is played out so it can do anything. So for a multiverse, particles can change to anything for infinite possibilities. We used to wonder what is beyond our universe, but now we know everything there is. And the thing is, our universe could be a mistake, but it happens just to be one with the perfect conditions to live. So, if we think about it, other universes could have nothing. It could be barren land, just full of radiation, like now because of the war. And we're here to fix that and build our own universe. And there you have it, the documentary by Maximus Schaeferis about the wormholes. In the next few days, we will give you more information about the wormholes and what we are doing to improve the earth so we don't have to live in this radiation-filled landscape. Well, see you in a few days!
we have been using ships to harvest different metals for mercury and transport it back with the wormholes. But we accidentally knocked mercury out of orbit and it's crashing, crashing into the sun and there's gonna be a huge solar flare, flare that could wipe out Earth and we're gonna have to go to a parallel universe. Bob, pistachio, out. As you can see, there are many ships surrounding Mercury that were earlier harvesting metals, but they're trying to stop it from going towards the sun. But they accidentally knocked it. Oh no, it's happening. It's in the sun. It's in the sun. The solar flare is beginning. Oh no, 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 no. What's happened to the cam? Oh man, the cam. Oh no, Venus is coming in with it. Venus is coming in with it. Oh jeez. No, 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 Earth is doomed. Ah, no. Ah. Oh, I forgot. Um, see you in the next few days. Report more about the worm holes. Okay, so this seems pretty much like Earth. Mm, let me bite this. Uh, the wood seems regular. Oh, what's this over here? Hi, I'm Professor Cheapy, and I work for Channel 14. What do you have to say? Ah, what's this? <coughs> now, on Channel 14, we have news about larva holes, something like a wormhole. And we are using it revolutionary because there's the sun is is going to explode and oh not again! <laughs> <laughs> 